and insert my stamens. Now if you're pretty good with your fingers, you can poke those in with your fingers. You see how that, you see how that little um, hook kind of went deeper in there. And if you find your stamens are poking out the back of your flower, you know you need to trim them just a little bit more. If you're not good with this, if you're, if you're fumbly with your fingers, which I appear to be today, then you can use your tweezers, your pliers or your tweezers to poke in. So it gets three little stamens here. And they sit rather deeply into the narcissus. These little stamens. There we go. I like to encourage it upward by gently stroking it upward like this. Now I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. And I do that by taking my pliers and my tweezers, holding it at the very base of the stem, and taking it to a 90 degree angle. Like this. Now because these are nice and thin and have been drying, they'll hold their shape. They'll hold their shape nicely. And I can just set these into styrofoam to dry. To paint the narcissus, I'm going to use my pump brush that is from Cal Java International. Pump it and the color comes out. I dust it and I'm dusting a super pearl. If you didn't want to get a pump brush, you could use just regular super pearl dust. I like to use a luster dust and brush your, and brush your color on. But I like this pump brush. It's got soft bristles, covers a large area, and I can brush all over my petals across the back with the super pearl. This is the bud and the flower. Then I'm going to get some daffodil yellow. You could use any bright yellow. Canary yellow is also good. And I'm going to give it a nice little brushing here along the trumpet of the narcissus. And then of the bud, I like to give just a little bit right there in the center. So along the trumpet, right in there, got my little squirt bottle, get rid of the excess. And then finally, I'm going to use some prairie green, prairie green dust, and I'll brush along the base area just to blend that little area in. Blend it up nicely. And I like to touch just a little inside the trumpet just to give sort of a little three dimension to it. And one final pop right inside. For the bud you don't have to do that. Then I will um, steam these flowers and they'll be ready to go into the display. The steam is billowing out now. I don't want to get too close. I'll take my flowers, hold them about five to six inches away from the steam. You could wear a pot holder if you felt like this was too close. It's going to slightly melt the gum paste. And as it slightly melts the gum paste, it will blend the color, dusting color in. That's enough of that. And when this dries in about five to ten minutes, it'll retain that glossy look, a little sheen to it, but it'll set the color. I do not use shellac on the leaves of the narcissus because they are not shiny. And that's your narcissus.